Hello and thank you for joining me for another art journaling video. Um, just like last time, my first video, I'm using my Dilutions journal and throwing some acrylic paint around because at this point I didn't really know what I was doing. I was kind of winging it and I was really happy with how it turned out. Um, you'll see in a moment that I start using some cling film or cling wrap as we call it in Australia and a Jane Davenport mermaid marker in the shade blue bottle spritzing that and kind of slapping it onto the page and blotting up some of the mess I really liked how it kind of reminded me of um, a frozen lake or something like that it was kind of crackled but bleached and I don't know I just really liked it and I'm also using some gesso and the shade butterfly from the Jane Davenport brights watercolor set you might see me on occasion um, add something with a little eyedropper. Um, that's probably because I'm using my Dr. PH Martin's Hydrus Fine Art Watercolor, um, liquid watercolor in phalo blue. And I was basically trying to mirror on the right page what was happening on the left page. <laughs> I found it a little bit tricky. It was kind of like a fluke the first time. So, of course, um, when you intentionally try and re create it it's a bit harder for some reason but yes yeah, so that's what I'm doing there and that's a Tim Holtz um, stencil and it actually took off a little bit of paint down the bottom but that's okay I just went and covered that up this is the Jane Davenport neutrals watercolor set I'm using the shade blueberry spritzing that around blotting it up and going in with a palette knife and I believe it's Liquitex um, flexible modeling paste and there it is again <laughs> with the Dina Wakely heavy body acrylic paint in sky blue and adding a little bit of mermaid marker for a bit more pigment and just sort of swiping that over I didn't like looking back at it now that flat top that squared off flat top um, but it's okay you live and learn here's the Dr. PH Martin's titanium white and I'm dripping that down because I kind of liked the wintry effect that I was getting I don't know I just liked it and then I want to drip it down the other way so I'm just tilting that like that but I didn't really want to waste too much paint so I'm taking my number two ranger's paintbrush and splatting that around <laughs> um, because I really like the speckles and this is the Kazercraft Kazer Mist in Aqua and pretty much doing the same thing there everything was a very cool wintry palette I don't know why I was just feeling it <laughs> oh and okay this stamp set drove me crazy. I really, really love the font, but in a moment you'll see it's the letter A that keeps throwing me off my game. It, ugh, it's just not working for me, but that's okay. Yep, I just gave up at that point and I switched back over to the typo uppercase um, font stamp set <laughs> and this is actually a quote that I found on Pinterest I couldn't figure out who it was by I didn't really have it written there but um if I figure out who it is I'll put it in the description box but I'm just stamping it out at the moment and it's basically a quote about self-love and giving ourselves the same sort of TLC that we might give a close friend or a family member because we matter too <laughs> and I was just trying to make an art journal page to remind myself of that that it's okay <laughs> to make time for ourselves um, this is a Kazercraft butterfly stamp set called butterfly <laughs> of course and there's a few different sizes there which makes it quite fun to use a few different types of butterflies a 
and now I'm using my cutting tool to cut up and make a complete mess <laughs> of that quote. And now I'm just sort of arranging where I wanted to lay those bits down and using a tape roller, tape adhesive thing, you know what it is. <laughs> I don't need to explain everything. Okay, and um, this is the Feud Ball pen. I really struggled with this because that white, drippy watercolour paint was still wet. So I figured I'd just give it a moment to dry a little bit more. I went back to the Butterflies with the Jane Davenport Bright Watercolour Set and kind of wanted to do a bit of an ombre effect where the butterflies are kind of alternating. Um, this second butterfly, the colour starts from the middle and lightens on the way out to the to the tips of the wings and then I alternate that with the other butter butterflies still not having much luck with that pen so what I decided to do was grab my favorite Windsor & Newton India ink in black obviously <laughs> because it's so pigmented and so crisp and I think that it kind of belonged in here I love it so yeah this is just a little art spread to kind of just remind yourself that um, you know maybe even the dialogue that we have going on in our heads we need to sort of treat ourselves and speak to ourselves the same way that we would treat a best friend because we need to be our own best friend without that sounding too cheesy but um it's amazing how kind and forgiving we can be to other people but how overly judgmental and critical we can be to ourselves and it's just not good behavior and i went ahead and added a little bit of written journaling off camera so if you like this video and would like to see a bit more just like it <laughs> please let me know in the comment section below and also feel free to hit the subscribe button if you feel so inclined and i look forward to making some more videos in the future okay thank you bye bye Thank you.